Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. What up, man? Let me see. Yeah, it's looking good. All right. Tape is rolling. Tape is rolling. Hello. My name is DB. And I'm in DB Studios. Welcome to all things brass and technology. Mm -hmm. I have a new video for you today. And it's based off of a video I've done already. This is what it is. This horn. Let me give you another view. You see it? Now you may be asking yourself, D, what horn is that? What I want to talk about today is this horn, which is an Adam, Adam's horn. It is an Adam's horn. From what I know, it's a one of a kind. I'm taking you through this. Because, in my opinion, it is the best one they make. Easy. Easy, easy Trent, easy meal. When I was a kid, I studied Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. I could defend myself. So easy, guys. It's just my opinion. <laughs> you know what's next. Let's get it. Okay, so I have a few videos with me at the Adams factory. You know, I went there to have them build me a trumpet, which I call the DB trumpet. So there's videos out there. I'll leave links to these videos in this video. But they show me being at the factory building what would become the DB trumpet. You know what? I'm a straight shooter. Boom, straight down the middle. So let's let me let me key in some of that video so you could go check it out. So you don't even have to go check out those other videos unless you want to. So let me give you, you know, a minute or two of me at the Adams factory. Let's get it. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Darren Bear for Darren Bear TV. I'm in Holland at the Adams Musical Instrument Company, working with Neil Adams on the Darren Bear model trumpet. It's incredible, the DB model. Listen, I'm taking you inside so you can check out the factory. You're not gonna believe it is gorgeous, and you can see these masters at work. Here we go, DB TV. I'm just gonna let you see a bit of this. Check this out. It's so gorgeous.
I'm here with Mia Adams. He's working on the DV model. Trumpet designer. Master designer. Okay, well, there it is. Everything is there, right? So, I can't remember. This was between, this was like either 2011, 12, or 13, around that period. I was out there for maybe five days, and they put that DB horn together. It was great, man. Meal was a great host, and he's an amazing person. Beautiful man. Yeah, man. So... When they were putting their finishing touches on the DV trumpet, you know, Mio said, okay, we're just buffing and doing stuff like that. And um, give me another two hours. Uh, hey, come down to this room. And, and you could hang out in this room. So we walk down to the room. He opens up the room. And it's just a room around 50 trumpets all sitting on stands. I'm like, yo, what is this? He said, ah, just horns that, you know, we're experimenting with and, you know, just different models. Some horns, you know, didn't work and we just put them here. So have some fun. I'm like, yeah, man, I'll definitely have some fun. So I get my mouthpiece and yeah, stay with me on this journey, right? You dig? So I get my mouthpiece and I'm trying all these horns. Trying all these horns, and yes, nice, okay. Some were too heavy. Like, a lot of them were just too heavy. Right? So I'm going through all these horns, going through all these horns. And then I come across the horn that I'm talking about in this video. Yes. Okay. So I pick up this horn. And, you know, I said, man, wait a second. This kind of looks look like a Bach. Look at it. You know, this kind of looks like a Bach. It's got a Bach vibe. So I said, okay, nice, man. You know, usually Adam's trumpets are those heavy, heavy kind of Monet-looking trumpets, right? But this one, it's a little like a standard weight trumpet. Got two lines like a Bach, you know. So I picked that that horn and I put it to my face like this and I was like, what? I was shocked. Let me tell you something. That horn was ringing. The resonance, you know, this only happened me, you know, this happened, you know, several times in my life where I picked up a horn and man, that, help, that happened with first time I played a Shelky X3. Man, I was like, wow. It just was vibrating, you know? Um, so I was like, man, this one's incredible. And it's dark. It looked like, like, and like an antique, you know? Like, <laughs> it looked like an antique horn, man. You know, but... I'm, 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 I'm letting you look at it now. So the one thing that is different, there's no brace here. And I love that. You know, that's why I usually gravitate towards tunable bells. Because tunable bells don't have a brace here. 
And I just feel that when there's no front brace like this, the horn just feels freer to me. That's just me. And I noticed right away, oh man, it doesn't have a brace here. But there's a brace right up here. Yes, maybe it's hard for you. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Right there. Let me show it again. Camera's pretty nice, right? It's good glass. Right? And so that's a difference, right? But then look at this. Show you this. I'm all geeking out now, man. You know what that is? I call it the fluffinator. This is that gap, that gap mechanism where you could turn it. And the further the, the further back you go, that sound gets fluffy, man. Fluff, fluff, fluff. <laughs> you dig? You know, so it had this. You know, which, this gap system that they have. And I call it the Fluffinator. So I was like, whoa. So I started messing around with that, and which they put on my DB trumpet. And to me, it really changes the way the horn feels, and it really changes the way the horn sounds. So for me, you know... I'm a studio guy, like, you know, recording my own music and everything. So, um, and I'm a producer as well. So we're into sound design. You know, the more sounds I could get out of an instrument, the better for me, because I hear production. That's why I like, the, I love the MTD basses. You know, I play a little bass. Michael Tobias design, you know, because their custom basses you can get so many different sounds out of one bass. It's like a spaceship. And I love that because, you know, when you produce, you just want options of or a tonal palette. So that's what I was finding with this. So I was like, okay, man, this is like a, plays like a New York Bach, feels open. Then it has the Fluffinator. And so you could just, the further back you go, it just gets into flugelhorn ranges. It's just a beautiful trumpet. So I ran out of that place, man. You know, where all these trumpets were. And I was like, Meal, Meal. I was screaming for Meal, man. I said, where, 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 Where's Meal? <laughs> it's crazy, man. And so he came out and I said, Man, Meal, what horn is this? And he looked at it and he was like, I don't know. It was some horn we were working on. I don't know. I said, You guys, what are you doing with it? Ah, nothing. So I said, listen, man, this horn has to go home with me. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, dig. I said, hey, this horn is insanity. I need to take this. And he was just looking at me. <laughs> so what ended up happening is they finished my DB horn. And I took that with me back to the U.S. And they shipped this horn to Trent Austin. And I, when Trent Austin was still in Boston, still in Massachusetts, and I picked it up from Trent. And I played this horn for probably two to three years. Oh, man. And I don't know if you could see it. Let me try to see if the glass could pick this up. See those pretty flowers? I don't know if you could see it. You know, I sent this to Sherry. She doesn't do graving for trumpets anymore, but I sent it to her, and she put graving all down here, all on the bell. I don't know if you... I'm trying to see if you could see it. Let me see if I can... Nah, it's hard for you to see. But there's engraving. Oh, man, I sent it out. That's how much I love the horn. I said, man, I'm going to get this thing all engraved up. And she did an amazing job. And, yeah, as I said, I played this around two, two to three years, and I really enjoyed it. 
And then I linked up with the Getson Company, Getson Edwards, Christian. Hmm. And I grabbed one of their Generation 3 horns and I played that. That was a fun horn. Let's go back to Christian. Christian, we talked just the other day. Send it out, Christian. You know what I'm talking about. I know you're a fan of DB and you watch the channel. You follow the channel. We had that conversation. When you, when you get them, let me know and send them out. I'm excited about that. That's a little inside thing with Gets and Edwards between Christian and I. He knows what I'm talking about. We're getting back to this horn. Yeah. Great. I think this is the best that Adam makes. That's my humble opinion. You know, I tried. I don't know. I can't even remember. I don't know what it is. It's an A something. But they have a horn that is lightweight, more like a Bach. That's a great trumpet, too. I tried one of those. And I was really impressed. But this horn is like that on steroids. It's like a New York Bach on steroids with more options. And I think this is the best they make. Yes. So at this point, let me play it for you. So you can hear it. Yes. That's it. Man, what a fantastic trumpet, man. That was really fun. Yeah. So, message to Meal and the Adams Company. I am willing to send this back to you, Meal. Adams Trumpet Company. Company. I'll send this back to you. I don't know the specs on it. I don't know the specs. I just know I did my thing with it, which is, you know, the pretty flowers. I think maybe you should be able to see that now. Yeah, because we're nice and focused. See all that? Sherry, man. Nice. I'll send this horn back to you. You could analyze it. Because I just looked on your website. You don't have any... Horn, traditional horn, Bach kind of horns with the fluffernator on it. The, I don't know what you guys call it, the expandable gap, gap release, I don't know. I call it the fluffernator, you know what this is. I don't see any horns from the A1 to A, I don't know, 15 with this type of mechanism. 
And I'm willing to send this back to you for you to analyze it. And all you need to do is copy this exact same thing and you will have an unbelievable trumpet. Getting away from all that heavy stuff. You know, yes. Of course, you know, we'll have to talk business. Let me see. The DB antique model. No, no, no. The DB special. <laughs> yes, I can see that. And if not, I have an amazing trumpet. Yes. Oh, yes. My name is DB. Always coming faithfully straight, straight, straight. Down the middle, not to the left, not to the right. Always coming faithfully straight down the middle. Thank you for watching this video. I have so much more videos of all kinds of stuff coming your way. Some things that you'll be very, very, very interested in. But for now, I bid you farewell. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.